Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many Docker users encounter. Our viewer asks, how can you remove a volume in a Docker file when extending an image that already declares one? This is a great question because understanding how Docker handles volumes is crucial for effective container management. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To address the issue of removing a volume in a Docker file, we first need to understand how Docker handles volume directives. When you extend an image that already has a volume directive, you cannot directly remove it. However, you can override it by redefining the volume in your Docker file. Here's how you can implement this in your Docker file. Simply add the volume directive with an empty array After making this change, build your Docker image again. This will ensure that the previous volume is no longer in effect. In summary, while you cannot delete a volume from a base image, you can override it by redefining it with an empty array in your Docker file. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To remove a volume in a Docker file, you can overwrite files using a multi-stage build. First, create your files outside of the volume folder. In the same run step where you add or modify files, copy them outside of the volume folder. Finally, in the next stage, copy the files from the previous stage into the volume folder. And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find the resolution that you're looking for and you got the answer and worked your way through. If it did, please hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.